Hey you guys, welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga. I hope you are doing well and are ready for some yoga. So I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes so I can see that a few people uh, start to pop on. Actually, I don't know if I actually see them. So if you're here, comment, hey, I'm here, I'm so excited for some yoga. Um, because I would love to know who is actually joining me today for our live session. Because, you know, it's always better to uh, have people actually involved than me doing this yoga with no one there. Because that's weird. Hello, welcome. Let me know that you're actually here. Comment below and say, hey, I'm so excited to be here today. You know, something, some version of that anyways. And then I hope you guys are ready for some yoga. Um, tonight we are going to do about a 40 to 45 minute session. Um, and it's going to be a yin yoga style, which me, and I don't think I've done that here on, on the Catching Waves channel live with you guys yet. I know I have some on YouTube, but so yin yoga is a lot slower paced, like way slow, you guys. We're going to hold some of these poses for upwards of three minutes. Um, I'll talk you through it. There's going to be a lot of really focusing on the breath, a lot of meditation, aka me just giving you some life wisdom from people that I've stolen the wisdom from and I'm just, you know, parroting what they're telling me because it's good stuff. Um, so yeah, what I would recommend before we officially start is obviously get your mat out if you'd like one. Um, have your water close by. I'm not gonna work you too hard, like I said. And then have a couple pillows. Um, they're gonna be really beneficial when you feel stuck in a pose that you can just kind of prop yourself up and just like literally chill out on your pillow. So again, if you are just joining, Give me a comment, say, hey, I'm here, I'm so excited, or, you know, some version of that. And I'll give you guys just a 30 seconds. Run, grab those pillows, get your water, get yourself set up, and then uh, let's do some dang yoga, because I'm ready for it. But like I said, we're doing a yin yoga style tonight because um, I've just been go, go, go today, and I need to stretch things out and slow myself way down. So I know it's gonna be beneficial for me. I know it's gonna be beneficial for you and hopefully uh, the words that spew out of me inspire you guys in some way. So Lenny looks like he's about ready to go, which means I've gotta be about ready to go. So get your water, have a sip. Keep those pillows close by. And we're gonna jump into this. So again, if you're just jumping on, we're doing a yin yoga. Uh, which is a much slower pace than what you guys are used to. It's going to be a 40 to 45 minute session um, that will allow us to move through several poses um, and holding them for upwards of three minutes at a time. So get yourselves ready to breathe a lot. Get yourselves ready to uh, go deep within and uh, be grounded because we're going to keep most of this practice today very low to the ground. So with that, I want you to actually come into a kneeling position today. We're gonna to start there. And if you have any, any issues at all with your knees, have that pillow, like I said, close by. You can either put them under your knees if the pressure is too much in the front, or you can put it between your thigh and your calf, just creating a little extra space. Okay, we're gonna stay here again for just a little bit of time. So sit up nice and tall. Nice and straight through that spine. Take your right hand onto your chin and just press it back in space. Really aligning everything from the top of your head all the way down to your tailbone. Focus on that breath. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhaling in. Exhale. And again, just start to notice what that breath is doing within the body, what parts of your body are moving. Is it your chest or are you getting this equal lifting all the way down to your belly button, utilizing your diaphragm? So if not, with that next breath, really fill all of your lungs up with air. Inhale. Exhale. Release your shoulders down. Begin to notice where that tension is that you're holding in your body. Know that it's not serving you, so just let it go. Big breath in. 
And this time with your exhale, really pull your abs in like you're trying to crunch and press that air out. Inhale, big breath, fill your lungs. Exhale, press those abs in, push the air out. We'll do one more just like that. In, out. Awesome job. Inhale, lift your arms all the way up. Big stretch here. Look up. I want you to interlace your fingers, turn your palms towards the ceiling, and really start to pull your pinkies towards that back wall, bringing your ears in between your biceps. Stay nice and tall through your spine here. Big breath. And as we exhale, release your hands and twist to the left. Look over your left shoulder here. Go ahead and part your lips just slightly so you can release through the, your jaw, releasing any tension that's going down your neck, into your shoulder, into your upper body. Just focus on that breath. Big inhale and exhale. One more just like that. In, out, inhale. Slow and controlled twist back to center. Lift your arms up and overhead. Interlace your fingers. Press your palms to the ceiling, pull your pinkies back, big stretch. And with that exhale, release and twist to the right this time. Look over your right shoulder, part your lips, releasing any tension in your jaw, through your neck. And notice if you're holding in tension in your lower body, give it a little shimmy shake and just let it release. Focus on that breath, big inhale, exhale. One more just like that, in and out. Inhale, twist center, bring your arms back up and overhead, big stretch. And as we exhale, just allow your arms to come forward. Now you can keep your knees under your belly here so you can really release through your low back or if it's too, too much of a challenge to breathe, open your knees as wide as your mat, keep your big toes touching in the center, and then go ahead and release your forehead all the way down to the mat. Ideally, you'd have your arms extended out in front, but I got Mr. Lenny here. And we're just gonna stay here in child's pose, just truly allowing us to surrender, to ground ourselves, and to just start noticing what's going on both physically and emotionally. So focus on that breath. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, push it out through your mouth. One more in. Exhale, press it out through the mouth. Great. Just let that breath come in and out through the nose in a nice natural rhythm. Notice where you're holding in tension. Maybe you're really holding onto your shoulders. Just give them a little shake, let them release. And extending your arms out will help with that. Close your eyes if you haven't yet. Press into your hands and just try to shift your hips a little closer to your heels. And like I said, in this yin yoga practice, we're going to stay in these poses for much longer than you're used to. So when you get to that point in some poses where you feel like you are at your breaking point, focus on that breath. Know that your body can handle so much more than you even imagined. And all of that, the majority of that comes from your mindset telling you, I either can't do this or I can. Just focus on that breath, inhaling in and out. Bring a big smile under your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. <clears throat>
just keep focusing on that breath and the body and just noticing what's going on. Even here in this pose, you might feel some areas that are a little more stressful than others. And as long as we're aware of what's going on, we will know our limitations. We'll know how we might need to move later. So with that, take a big inhale, glide your hands back towards your shoulders, starting to lift yourself up. And we're gonna come into our tabletop position, bringing your knees right underneath of your hips here and your hands directly underneath of your shoulders. Just get a nice flat back here, taking a big inhale and exhale. Go ahead and curl your toes under and just kind of shift your body weight back and forth a couple times, just stretching through the bottoms of your feet. And just try to hold your attention just here in the present moment. And that just simply means acknowledge all the things that are around you that are bringing you joy. For instance, right now on my left hand, my ring finger is sitting right in the light and it's making my wedding ring just sparkle, right? And that's just something that is so, so valuable, you know, in a personal way. And it's just a nice reminder of being present, being still, and be grateful for all that you have. So take another big inhale, come into our stillness right in our tabletop. And as we exhale, send your hips all the way up to the sky, coming into our downward facing dog. It's okay if your knees are bent or if your heels are lifted. Just focus on really pressing in through all 10 fingers here, turning your biceps towards the wall in front of you and bringing your chest a little closer to your legs. Take a big inhale and exhale. Just really focusing on that breath. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and bend your knees, look forward, and walk yourself all the way to the front of your mat. And then go ahead and release your upper body over your lower body. Tuck your chin into your chest. And again, just be here, be still. Focus on your breathing. Inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your thighs, straightening through your legs, straightening through your upper body, coming into our halfway lift. And as we exhale, we're gonna fold again over our legs, releasing your arms, tucking your chin into your chest. Inhale, slow and controlled. We're gonna roll all the way up to standing, straightening through your legs, tucking your tailbone under, rolling up through your low back, your mid back, your upper back, looping those shoulders up, back and down, lengthening through your neck and the top of your head. Go ahead and keep your hands right here at your side and really lengthen through your fingertips. Take a big inhale, exhale. Awesome. Go ahead and look down at your feet. Make sure they're about hip distance apart and then turn your big toes in to touch. You're going to feel real awkward and it's okay. We like being in those awkward, uncomfortable things because then we grow. Ooh, life metaphor. All right. Keep your big toes in to touch and then stand up nice and tall. You might notice that your knees are bending here. Really aim to press your knees back, push your hips forward. And once we're there, Lift your arms all the way up, interlace your fingers, press your palms towards the ceiling, and again, pull those pinkies back. It's gonna feel uncomfortable for just a second, but we're really working on neurological connections and getting our posture back in order so we don't ever have to be in pain again. So focus on that breath, don't lock your knees. Take a big inhale, exhale. Ladies, go ahead and just relax your stomach, let it go. It's the only way we're gonna have truly be able to straighten through our spine. One more breath here, in and exhale. Release your arms, straighten through your feet, give your body a little shimmy shake, get it all moving. And then when you're ready, I want you to go ahead and cross one leg behind the other and come all the way back down into a seat. 
and I want you to extend your legs out in front of you. This will be a good time to grab your pillows if you've got them close by. Take the flesh from your buttocks, move them from side to side so you're coming right onto your sit bones. Flex your toes towards your nose and I want you to sit up nice and tall. This is where you can take those pillows and put them right on your lap. Maybe even stagger them just a little bit to kind of move with your body's contour. Take a big inhale, lift your arms all the way up. And as we exhale, we're just gonna fold over our pillows, releasing your arms, tucking your chin into your chest, even relaxing your forehead all the way down onto that pillow. And just begin to notice what's going on in your body. Now you can stay here or after several breaths, you can start to remove one pillow after another. You can release your hands right down by your legs, palms open to the sky and just completely surrender here in this pose. And we're gonna stay here for several minutes, just really getting as much lengthening through our spine as we can. Relax your shoulders, relax through your legs. You can unflex your toes and just be here. Be still, be present. Try to let any worries that you have, any self-doubt that you have just disappear, right? We are our own biggest judge. We judge ourselves on how we look, how our clothes fit, how successful or unsuccessful we are in our career, in our relationships, right? And that all comes back to us and our mindset and what we allow ourselves to say or think to ourselves. And guess what, you guys? I'm telling you right now, let it go. Believe in yourself. Allow yourself to be. And just right now, allow all of those limiting beliefs to be surrendered and just focusing on that breath really trying to keep an equal inhale and an equal exhale When we get to that point where we're holding these poses and your body will start to tell you things. And maybe it's a physical thing. Maybe you start to feel this eruption of emotions coming at you. This is your time that you're taking for yourself, whether it's for the physical, whether it's for the mental. So whatever happens, let it happen. Feel it move through it and release it because that's the only way that you can truly heal from the inside out. So everyone, let's take another big inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more just like that, in and out. And with that next inhale, slow and controlled from your pelvis, roll all the way up through your spine and go ahead and set your pillows aside and then I want you to cross your legs and we're gonna get real fancy and roll ourselves forward and come back into your tabletop position curling your toes under spreading your fingertips nice and wide take a big inhale nice flat back and as you exhale send your hips all the way up downward facing dog Try to anchor through your feet a little bit more if you can. If not, that's okay. You'll get there with time. It's all about practice and consistency. Focus on your breath. Inhale and exhale. I want you to really anchor through that right foot 
and slow and controlled, just lift your left foot away from the ground, keeping your hips parallel to the ground here. Focus on your breath. See if you can lift that leg a little higher without stacking your hips. You want to keep those hips parallel to the ground. And as we exhale, bend your knee, shift into a plank, and we're going to bring that left knee to left wrist and go ahead and lay your shin down. Walk your right leg back a little bit farther, opening up through your hips, and then press into your fingertips, lifting your upper body away here. I want you to protect your left knee by flexing through that left foot. And it's okay if your foot is coming back closer towards your body versus coming straight across your mat. Take a big inhale, lifting up. And as we exhale, just release the palms of your hands down. I want you to really focus on what are your hips doing right now. We want to make sure that they are parallel with the front of your mat. So think, pull your right hip towards that front right corner and pull your left hip towards that back left corner. You'll feel some tension through the left side of your leg here into your glute. And that's exactly where we want to feel that stretch. So again, focus on that breath. Big inhale. And exhale. We're going to begin to lower our upper body over our lower body. So you can start by walking your hands out. And maybe you come down onto your forearms. If you're not there yet, that's okay. Take your pillows, stack them. Stack as many as you need. Release your chest onto your pillows, keeping that left leg flexed so we protect the knee. All right? You can stay right here, releasing your head down onto your pillows, relaxing through your upper body, and keep pulling your hips in two directions. Left hip to the left back corner, right hip to the front right corner. And we're just gonna stay here for several minutes, you guys, right? So focus on your breath. Take a big inhale and exhale. And at any point you want to release a little deeper, you simply set one pillow or both pillows aside and you listen to your body. You don't want to rush into anything. You just want to go with the natural state and releasing process of your own body mechanics here. Notice where you're holding in that tension. Really do a body scan from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. And notice what muscles you're just really, really contracting right now and just let them go. And the easiest way to let them go is to flex them extra hard and then release them. <clears throat> you know, if you're on your forearms like I am, you can take both of your fists, stack them on one on top of another and just relax your head down, closing your eyes. And again, listening to your body. Don't go deeper than your body wants to go yet. You can remove one hand at a time and you can eventually begin to just relax your head down, arms extended overhead. And if you can't get to this, that is okay. Find your variation that's going to accommodate your body's needs. And close your eyes wherever you land. We're just going to pull attention to our breath again, inhaling in and out. Just begin noticing what comes up, whether it's a feeling in the body or an emotion. Feel it, acknowledge it, release it. Don't let these things that get stuck in our being hold us back. Don't let them get stuck in your body and cause pain in your future. Now is your time, the opportunity for you to take to truly just release anything that is going on physically, mentally, spiritually. It's all connected.
I want you to bring a smile onto your lips. And think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. And with that next inhale, come on up onto your forearms. Begin to plant your palms, lifting in that upper body. I want you to curl your right toes under here. Plant your palms right out in front of you, fingertips wide. Now with one motion, you can inch your back leg in just a little bit. And then I want you to lift all the way up into downward dog with your leg extended. So into our three-legged dog officially. And then exhale, just go ahead and plant that left foot. Stay here for a couple breaths in our true down dog. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Inhaling in. And out. And go ahead and anchor through that left leg this time. Lift your right foot away from the floor, keeping your hips nice and parallel. See how high you can go without stacking your hips. Take a big inhale. Make sure you're pressing through all 10 fingers here. Even pressure through your hands. And then go ahead and bend that knee. Shift yourself into plank, bringing that right knee to right wrist and laying your shin down. Walk that back leg back several inches. Uncurl those toes. Flex through your right foot this time. And again, it's okay if you have your foot closer to your body and not parallel to the front of your mat. Press into your fingertips, lift your chest away. Focus on that breath, inhale. And exhale, you're gonna choose the variation that's gonna be comfortable for your body. So again, you can start by walking your palms down, coming down onto your forearms, and just taking these little baby steps listening to your body. Make sure now this time we're pulling the left hip forward and the right hip back so you can really feel it in the right leg, in the right glute. And as always, if you have your pillows, you can stack them right under you and just release completely under your pillows. <clears throat> and wherever you land, I want you to close your eyes and just really start to focus on that breath, taking a really big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, press it out through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more just like that, in and out, let it go. Great job. Keep your eyes closed. Just allow your body to release with time. Begin to pay attention to what's going on physically, mentally. And just accept whatever comes up. Don't put any emotion towards it. Is anything good or bad? Just let it be. Let the experience move through your being and let it go. And it's always a choice to let something go, to hold on to something, to be stuck. And I don't think you want to be stuck. I don't think you want to be stuck in this pose forever. I don't think you want to be stuck in a career that you don't like or in a relationship that's toxic, right? And we have these choices to stay in this place of comfortability. Not that it's good, but it's comfortable. We know it. We've lived it. We understand the expectations. But it doesn't mean that you have to be stuck there. Right? Just like this pose. We don't have to be stuck here. Heck, you could drop out of this pose and go into child's pose the rest of this session. And that's your choice. Right? So I want you to take that through your entire life and just acknowledge the things that you are, you're stuck in. You have felt an immobility 
to move beyond, whether it's a thought, a practice, whatever it may be. And starting today, just begin to choose. First, choose you. Show up for you. You are important. Everything that you do is important, right? And then once you can show up for yourself, you can start to show up for other people as well. You can start to give love, kindness, through your words, through your actions, through your thoughts. And typically when we're stuck, we use our words and we tell us we're stuck. I can't do this. I'm not good enough. I am, I am, I am. And anything that follows I am defines you. And I don't know if you want to live by the words that you preach sometimes. Right? So what if your statements all of a sudden became, I am strong, I am beautiful, I am competent, I am generous, I am courageous, I am inspiring, I am followed by all of these amazingly positive words. Because when we start to say it, we think it. And when we think it and we say it, we put that into action. And then we truly start to believe it. And again, it all comes back to your choice. You choose to be stuck or you choose to move forward. And it's not gonna be easy, it's not gonna be perfect, but you made the choice to get out of whatever it was that was holding you back from being you, authentically you, perfectly you as you are. I don't know about you guys, but I choose to thrive. I choose to spread joy and happiness and inspire others. And just take every lesson that I've had in this life to grow into a much stronger version of myself. So with that, I want you to take another big inhale in. And exhale, let it go. With your next inhale, lift your head and begin to walk your hands back in place. Really lifting through that upper body. <clears throat> Extending through your head, through your neck here. And with your next exhale, just roll onto that right hip. And we're gonna swing that left leg out in front. Really lengthen through your legs here. Get a big stretch. You can even lengthen your arms up. Exhale, just fold for a second. Inhale, lift it all the way back up. Spiral through your ankles here for a moment, one way and then the other. And I'm gonna turn onto my mat, you don't have to, but I want you to open your legs as far as you can. You can take a drink of your water if you need to. And from here, I want you to again, pull your buttocks towards that back wall, shifting your hips forward. So this is another good spot. If you've got those pillows, stack them right in front of you. So take a big inhale, sit up nice and tall. And as we exhale, begin to walk your hands out in front of you and just release yourself over these pillows, relaxing your head down. And just again, allowing your body to move, to stretch through these poses, allowing your body to release. Focusing on that breath, inhaling in through the nose and out. time you can move one pillow out of the way shifting on to another just find the variation that's going to be comfortable for you <clears throat> always just focusing on that breath trying to have an even inhale and an even exhale. And just being aware of where you might be holding intention throughout the body. 
and let it go. And seeing if you can go even deeper into your stretches. Don't force anything, just listen to your body. Acknowledge what's going on. Just go right up to that wall of limitation. Tap it a few times. See if you can push through. If not, pull back, it's okay. Take a big inhale. And exhale, see if you can release a little bit deeper. Inhale. And exhale. One more really big breath in. And out. And with that next inhale, use your hands to walk your body back, lifting through that upper body here. Set your pillows aside. And go ahead and pull both of your feet into the center. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Bring your hands right to your feet. Go ahead and just give them a quick little massage, dragging your thumbs across the bottoms of your feet through your arches. You can kind of work your fingertips on top of your feet here. Maybe you want to play around right on the heels or even massage right around your ankles. Right? Our feet take us through our days. And I know if you guys have showed up to any of these classes, you know I always talk about our feet. No, I don't have a weird foot obsession. It's just extremely important when a huge portion of our bones, a huge percentage of your bones are in your feet. And they're carrying this awkward human self and your giant heads and brains <laughs> around. So I think it's really important that we should, you know, take care of them. All right, so take your fingers, go ahead and interlace them around your toes. Inhale, shift your chest forward, look up. And as we exhale, bring your elbows right onto your shins and begin to just pull your upper body down in space. Feeling that stretch again through your legs, through your back. And go ahead and just tuck your chin into your chest. And just focus on that breath, inhaling in. And with your exhale, sinking a little deeper into the pose. Noticing where you're holding in that tension and actively releasing it. Take another big inhale. And exhale. And with your next inhale, slow and controlled, begin to roll up through your upper body, lengthening through your neck, catching your hands right at your ankles, press your chest forward, look up. And as we exhale, if you turned on your mat like I am, shift yourself forward, planting your feet down on your mat. Extend your arms out. Inhale, reach forward. And as we exhale, slow and control, release your upper body all the way down to the mat. Extend your arms overhead, lengthen through your legs here, get a big stretch. And as we exhale, just bring your hands back towards your hips. Allow your feet to fall open as wide as the mat. And go ahead and close your eyes. Get yourself nice and comfortable here. So we move into our final pose, you guys. Asana. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And out, let it go. One more just like that, in. And out. And one more time. I want you to bring a smile onto your lips. And think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today as we move through this pose.
next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your feet and your fingers. Bat your eyelashes open and closed. And then go ahead and roll onto your side facing knee. Use your arm as a pillow. And we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in. And out. And that next inhale, press yourself away from the floor. Come on up into a comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall. Bring your hands into your lap. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale. And exhale, let it go. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in. And out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Take a big inhale. And let it go. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big inhale in. And as you exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining here with me live. I always love doing these sessions for you guys and you joining. Um, so if you were here and you found value in this practice, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you thought about that different style. I haven't really done that one with you guys here. Um, and be sure to check in the group or on my Instagram um, because I have a special giveaway going on for my birthday. And it's only available until July 5th, uh, which is my birthday. And um, yeah, I hope someone wins it. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because now you gotta go stock some stuff. Ooh, this hair. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a great day. I hope you are well. I will see you again soon. Bye.